Hi, it's Renee Patron, the owner and founder of Party Host Helpers. We are the only nationwide party staffing firm. We're based here in Philadelphia, but we are in over 30 cities now. So next party you have, we hope you think of us. Today we're shooting live from Bentley Homes, it's called Paoli Walk. So if you're in the Philadelphia area and looking for a home or know someone looking for a home, you definitely have to check them out right in the western suburbs. This kitchen is gorgeous and we're so lucky to be able to be here to show you our party tip this week. So it's barbecue season, it's July, it's hot. You want some food that's not too heavy and, um, and light and easy to eat and easy to make, of course. So I am talking about this corn salad. So if you're serving burgers, chicken, steak on the grill, this is an awesome side dish, or you can make it into a dip. I have my tortilla chips here. A lot of people love to go crazy um, as a dip. So obviously we start with corn. And if you're from, you know, I'm personally from South Jersey. So summertime for me means corn. It's delicious. Um, it's fresh this time of year. You don't even need to, I personally don't need to add salt or pepper when I eat it because it's so sweet. So if you're in an area where corn is in season, lucky you. You can use fresh corn like this. You can also use frozen corn on the cob or frozen corn kernels. So I did, we, ahead of time, we took the kernels off of three cobs. All right, whoops. So obviously this is the base for the corn salad. I have half a cup of red onion diced. Mix that in a little bit. Smell the onion. I have just a couple tablespoons of basil. It's so delicious this time of year too. It smells awesome. Mix it up. My bowl's a little small. Olive oil, three tablespoons. I'm just gonna guesstimate, um, but I do recommend measuring it out. Okay. And then the apple cider, vin apple cider vinegar. And most of you have this in your cabinets anyway, all this stuff really, I mean olive oil, salt and pepper, the corn, maybe you have to go buy some fresh basil, corn and, and onions, but it's easy and affordable to make. So two tablespoons of this. I like using kosher salt in any of my recipes. So you can do this to taste. You can do just a couple teaspoons, that's fine. And then pepper, I love this pepper and salt grinder, it makes it a lot easier. And we're gonna mix it up. And again, it's awesome as a dip and a side dish. So I think it's pretty uh, impressive too, right? Versus just bringing maybe some chips and salsa or guacamole. This is something that takes not that long to create and your guests will be impressed. Or if you're attending a party, you can bring this and your friends will think that you uh, slaved in the kitchen because it'll be so delicious. So again, my party tip, my number one party tip is always to hire a party host helper. Our team can help you set up, serve, clean up, bartend. If you need a coat check attendant or a bathroom attendant, we have you covered. We are in over 30 cities. Uh, so make sure that you think of us, www.partyhosthelper.com. Thanks. Oh.